Hello everyone and welcome to today's session where we'll be talking about merging and dissolving in ArcGIS Pro. So first, let's define what merging is. And uh, merging simply means combining multiple input datasets into a single new output dataset. Alright, so what we have on the screen right now is a land use map which I'm going to randomly pick a section and actually use it to demonstrate merging. So let's let's look at the attributes of this area. So let's just click on it. Uh, remember, my cursor is on explore. So that's why when I click on an area, you can get some few insights on the area. So land use is agriculture, uh, specifically dense agriculture. And you can see this also on the symbology. I talk about symbology in my previous video, and if you want to symbolize uh, your layers like this, you can look at that in my previous video. So this area is forest, and this area is dense agriculture. So we want to assume that you've gone to the ground, and you've come to the conclusion that these two areas are both dense agriculture, right? And you want to merge them to represent what is on the ground so the first thing you do is make sure you've selected your layer so let's select the land use layer you'll realize some more functionalities pop up and so the next thing you want to do is to click on edit all right so you click on the edit tab and among the options here you can see there is an option merge all right and you can actually see uh, you're told what merge uh, the merge tool does and let's just click on it all right and so this uh, this pen opens up and you're told to select two or more features so let's just come and you can see the cursor has already changed uh, to selection because editing is a continuous process in ArcGIS Pro you don't have to start it or stop it. You just do your edits and you save uh, the changes or discard the changes. That's one of the uh, differences between uh, ArcMap and ArcGIS Pro. And of course, I've also highlighted that in my other video where I'm comparing the two. So let's just simply select these two. All right. And then you can see that we have the uh, sign here, preserve, all right? So what this simply means is if you want to preserve the uh, attributes of the layer after merging. And in any case, we want to preserve the um, attributes of the dense uh, agriculture, right? And not forest. So we can come here and select uh, agriculture dense. So we can say that all these features are, both these features are, dense agriculture so you simply come and click merge and you can see that on the map we have one um, uh, merged uh, feature all right so you can actually come and save these changes you can come and say uh, save all edits all right and then you can come to your map and explore and once you do that, you can see that now it's one feature, all right? And you can come to the attribute table. You can go to the attribute table and you can edit uh, the details in case, uh, of course, you now have new measurements uh, from your ground truthing or what have you, all right? Another way of doing it, of course, is going to the new feature, uh, which is more or less uh, the same thing. Uh, but in this case, you can use a template to add this uh, to another layer. Uh, we don't need to do that now. Uh, we'll probably look at this in another session where we'll be looking at copying uh, features, all right? Uh, in this session, I believe that should be enough to help you do merging. The next thing that I want to look at is dissolving. And I'll use another uh, scenario for dissolving. And uh, first, let's uh, talk about what dissolving is. So dissolving is creating a new coverage by merging adjacent polygons, lines, or regions that have the same value uh, for specified item. And in our scenario, we're going to use uh, 
Kenya provinces, all right, as the example. So let's, for I'm using an old data set of the country Kenya, and let's assume you've been given this data set and you're not interested in the provinces anymore. You want to have the general boundary of Kenya and therefore you want to dissolve uh, the uh, other contents of the map and just remain with the boundary of Kenya. So this is an old data set and therefore uh, please do not use this uh, for any work you're doing. This is just an old data set that I'm using for illustration. All right, so the easiest way to, to dissolve is to simply select your layer. As you can see, I've selected the layer here and then come to analysis. All right, go to tools and then come here and search for dissolve. All right. So you'll realize uh, it comes as the first option and it is under generalization because what you're doing is you're generalizing. All right. So come here and select the input features as the uh, land use layer, all right? And then of course, give your output a name. You can just say uh, Kenya general boundary, all right? And you can come and say, I want to dissolve the, the field, uh, um, all right? So, so I'm realizing that I've not really selected the input uh, feature as the Kenya provinces map. So let's just select the Kenya provinces map there. And then when you come to the fields which you dissolve, you can see that there are a couple of fields. And of course, you can go back to the attribute table in your layer and simply check. And in my case, I want to use Kenya, all right? So name uh, underscore zero will be the attribute that I use, all right? So that is the field uh, that I use here. So I just come and select name underscore zero, and then I say run, and you'll get a general uh, boundary. So you can come and unselect the Kenya provinces, and there you have your um, dissolved uh, Kenya general boundary. So I hope that helps you to do merging and dissolving. And in case of any questions, let me get them uh, in the comments below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and share this video. Thank you, and see you next time.